Hi guys, it's Brooke. So in this video, I will be showing you how to tie-dye a rainbow spiral. So if you want to learn, keep watching. To begin, you want to start off with a plain white 100% cotton t-shirt. And you want to soak it in a solution of soda ash and water or just plain water works fine too. And I am just wringing out my shirt so it is damp and not completely wet. Okay, so to make the spiral pattern, you are going to lay the front side of the t-shirt down so the back of the t-shirt is facing up towards you. And then you are going to pinch the center of the t-shirt, grabbing both sides, and twist it in either a clockwise or a counterclockwise direction. So once your t-shirt stops gathering into the center into a spiral, you're just going to wrap it around the center in the same direction that you were going into a circle shape. Once you have your spiral complete, you're going to take a rubber band, stretch it out, and put it around the entire pattern as you can see me doing around the outside of it. You want to adjust it so that it won't roll up or down so that it's completely around the middle of the spiral on the sides. For this next part, you are going to need three rubber bands and for the first rubber band, you are going to leave it with the back side facing you and you're going to place the first rubber band across the shirt like so and you're going to flip it around and make sure that the rubber band crosses the center spiral of the shirt. With the next two rubber bands, you're going to place them on the shirt the exact same way that you did with the first one, but you're going to place them at a different angle across the center of the t-shirt so that you are forming six equal triangles around the spiral. And here I'm just adjusting them so the triangles are as equal as possible. Once you are done rubber banding, you are ready to apply your dye to your t-shirt. So once you are ready to start dyeing your shirts, you want to make sure that if you are indoors, you are protecting the surface that you are on, but if you're outdoors, it doesn't matter as much. But I like to place my t-shirts above the surface that I am dyeing so the colors don't mix together if there's any runoff from dye. So as you can tell, I have taken my first color, which is red, if you are doing the rainbow, and I am placing it in one of the six triangles, and I am keeping the dye inside the triangle as much as possible. And since I am doing two t-shirts at one time, I am just going to do the same thing to the other side. When you are applying your dye to your t-shirts, you want to be very generous with the dye because the pattern or the shirt is wrapped up so tightly that if you are only giving a little bit amount of dye, it's only going to hit the surface, so you will have a lot of white spots if you aren't very generous. And for the rest of the shirt, I'm just going to take my dye in order of the rainbow and just apply it in triangles around the shirt until I have filled all the triangles and saturated them so that the dye will cover the shirt almost completely and that so you're getting a dye halfway down into the pattern. Once I have completely dyed the front side of the shirts, I'm just going to flip them over and do the same exact thing to the back side. In this video, you can see that I'm not using gloves, but I would highly recommend it because the dye does stain your hands for a couple days. Also, when dyeing the triangles on the back, you don't need to be as precise as the front side, but it is helpful. To finish off, I'm just putting the dyed shirts in bags and I'm going to let them set for a couple hours. 
Once your dyes have set, you are just going to take them into the sink or bathtub and rinse them off so you get all the extra and excess dye and so that when you are squeezing them, the water that is coming out is clear. And your finished product should look something like this. It may vary depending on the amount of dye you used and what colors you use, but it should come out somewhat like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you out. Go check out my Instagram page, Spirals of Joy, where I sell my own custom t-shirts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.